everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for our webinar focused on the state's health insurance marketplace. Get covered, NJ. I'd like to thank the New Jersey Department of Banking and Insurance, and especially Commissioner Carity for her and her staff for working with my office on today's webinar. Access to quality and affordable health care is something I've been fighting for since I first entered into Congress, and this pandemic has only emphasized its importance. Since New Jersey launched Get Covered NJ, our state health insurance marketplace in 2020, hundreds of thousands of New Jerseyans have enrolled, and more are now receiving great health insurance coverage. More than 285,000 people enrolled during this cycle's open enrollment period alone. The good news is there is still time to enroll. The deadline is January 31st for coverage beginning in February. This marketplace has more options, more local experts to help you navigate the plans, and offers more ways to lower your family's health coverage costs than ever before. Nine in 10 New Jersey residents qualify for financial assistance to help cover the cost of plans available through the exchange and qualifying households may be eligible for low cost or free coverage through New Jersey Family Care. I'm particularly proud to note that the American Rescue Plan signed into law in March of 2021 provided record levels of financial assistance to programs within Get Covered NJ. This law lowered premiums and expanded the federal subsidies for coverage. Plans are more affordable than ever and premiums are capped at 8.5% of your income. This direct funding, along with support on the state level, has made a tangible difference in the efforts to make health insurance both more accessible and more affordable for New Jerseyans. Reducing these costs keeps more money in your pockets while also providing access to quality health care. I wanted to make sure you have the information you need to navigate the open enrollment process and learn more about the expanded eligibility for residents. I appreciate that the commissioner is here with us today to walk us through it all and answer questions. After I give the commissioner a minute for some opening remarks, we'll get started with some questions. I, uh, I have several for her right now to get an overview of New Jersey's healthcare marketplace. We'll also have time to take questions from the audience through the Q&A chat box function. So if you have a question, please ask it in the chat box at the bottom of your screen at any time. Members of my team are on the line tonight and taking notes of incoming questions. If we don't get to your question, we'll be sure to follow up with you. So now I would like to introduce our commissioner, Marlene Carity from the New Jersey Department of Banking and Insurance. Commissioner? Yes, good evening, uh, Congresswoman. It's so good to see you again. And thank you, thank you for having me here today. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, speak with me about topics that are uh, important to you and to your constituents. And of course, um, health insurance, is uh, very close to my heart at the, you know, so uh, at the Department of Banking and Insurance. Uh, but before we begin, I, I do want to take this time to thank you. Thank you for your commitment, um, your hard work, your successes in Washington, and of course, for the support that you, uh, you gave the American Rescue Plan. It's because of this law that we have in place that we've been able to make a major impact and have a major impact, I should say, for our New Jersey residents and their families by expanding the access to quality, affordable health coverage, and of course, to care. So if you have any questions for me, I'm ready to go. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, back at you. Thank you, of course, for all of your hard work. Um, your department, the Department of Banking and Insurance, operates New Jersey's health insurance marketplace, which opened just over a year ago. Can you tell us about Get Covered New Jersey and the work the state is doing to help residents find health insurance? Yes, of course. Um, Get Covered New Jersey is the state's official health insurance marketplace. Um, we made the full transition away from healthcare.gov in the fall of 2020. That was the federal platform. So that means that New Jerseyans um, that do not have health coverage through their employer or through any other program um, will no longer shop on healthcare.gov. They will instead go to Get Covered New Jersey to purchase health insurance. Um, and of course, the, 
the website is getcovered.nj.gov. Um, we have, um, and I'm very proud of the fact that we have a one-stop shop for our residents here in, in New Jersey with uh, their health coverage needs. Uh, we offer several tools on our website uh, to help assist the residents and their families to explore the different coverages that are available, um, to explore the information that we have um, and also to see what kind of financial assistance they qualify for. One of the things that we have uh, done in the last two years since we took over the exchange is to invest in local community groups called navigators. And they're also available to help New Jerseyans uh, by contacting them directly for assistance and guidance. Uh, and they could explain to your, res your constituents the process of how to buy um, health insurance, any questions that they may have with the enrollment, and all that is for free. Um, and also very exciting for, for New Jerseyans is that under the leadership of our governor, Governor Murphy, New Jersey has worked to improve affordability and access to coverage. And by that, I mean that the state has invested in its own state subsidy program so that on top of any of the tax credits that you would get from the federal government, you also have state subsidies, which helps to lower the premiums. You know, I don't need to tell you, Congresswoman, you've seen it firsthand. This pandemic has really impacted our state. And I think that it highlights the importance of having access to high quality, affordable health care, you know, from preventive care to emergency care to prescriptions. Um, and this marketplace, our marketplace, we give our members from our community the ability to be healthier and live healthier lives. That is music to my ears. Um, as you know, this was a, a critical part of why I ran for Congress to help people have quality and affordable health care. And it's great that even the governor worked so hard to help our state uh, really lead the nation. So thank you. As you mentioned, prior to last year, New Jerseyans used healthcare.gov to enroll in insurance. How is the experience different at Get Covered New Jersey? So one of the things that I'm very, very proud of, and there's so many things to be proud of our, our exchange, but one of the things that I'm very proud of is that we have expanded our enrollment period. Um, our residents were confined to a window of six weeks in which they could purchase insurance uh, under healthcare.gov the, with the, the previous federal administration. Our administration here in New Jersey, our exchange, it's a three month window. So we start November 1st, where individuals can purchase insurance and it closes on January 31st. Um, so we have a longer window and that's one of the differences, one of the many differences that we have um, compared to the federal uh, plans. The other thing is that we have taken and invested in our community by having more navigators, more individuals, locals in the community that can help our residents and assist them in finding the plan that works for them. Um, so that is, and one of the things that I'm very excited about is that our navigators speak different languages. So if you don't speak English, there's always going to be someone that can help you. And that's really important because when you don't understand the language, you, you're hesitant about diving in. Uh, so it's important that, that they understand that we have individuals that speak different languages to help them. And of course, one of the other very big difference that we have with our exchange is that we have state subsidies uh, under our New Jersey health plan savings. And this has, held, this has allowed for nine out of 10 individuals who, who enroll on our marketplace to get financial help. So we're working on continuing to make healthcare in New Jersey more affordable. Well, that is great. And we are now heading into the final weeks of the open enrollment period for Get Covered New Jersey, which ends on January 31st. So there are only a couple of weeks left to sign up. What makes this year different from last year? So as I mentioned before, because we have the state subsidies, along with um, the tax credits that we get. And of course, because of the American Rescue Plan, 
we have record level financial help available for our residents. And that helps to lower the cost of health insurance for most of our enrollees. As I mentioned, nine out of 10 individuals that enroll at Get Covered New Jersey qualify for financial help. And many can find a, a plan that is $10 or less. So more reason to go to our website to look for the different options that are available. As I mentioned also, we've increased our partnership with our navigators. We now have 18 organizations that work with us and that was uh, that's an increase of four when we were on the FED with the federal marketplace. So because we've taken over, uh, state has taken over its exchange, we've gone from 16 organizations last year to 18 this year, and it's only going to keep growing to help our residents here in New Jersey. And of course, uh, one of the main things also is that because of our success last year, we now have another health company insurance company that has joined our exchange. So we have four uh, health insurance companies on the exchange offering numerous health plans um, throughout New Jersey, which I am sure that our residents will find something that'll be good for them and for their families. Well, wonderful. Can you tell us more about the federal and state financial help? So who qualifies for assistance and what can New Jersey residents expect? So. Um, the federal rescue plan made the biggest change to the Affordable Care Act since it was implemented. Um, considerable increases in the amount of financial aid are now available to consumers. And as you had mentioned, um, they removed the cap for receiving uh, assistance. Uh, the new law allows ensures that no one pays more than 8.5% of their income um, for health insurance. And in addition to the tax credits, as I mentioned, we also have the state subsidies that helps our residents uh, find more plans. Um, basically, an individual who is earning $77,000 a year or a family of four that's earning approximately $159,000 a year can more than likely get financial assistance on top of those the federal tax credits to reduce the cost. Um, the, the main thing here that I, the, or the main takeaway is that there were folks that perhaps thought that they didn't qualify for financial assistance and perhaps last year they didn't, but the combination of the rescue plan together with the state subsidies has allowed us to expand and help even more individuals. Um, so if you think you didn't qualify for financial help, I would suggest that you go on the website because you might be happily surprised that you do now. Well, today is January 11th, and open enrollment at Get Covered for New Jersey ends January 31st. What should residents know if they still need to get covered? They need to know that it's not too late. They need to know that they have time between now and January 31st to get coverage, and the coverage would begin February 1st. As I mentioned earlier, this pandemic has shined the light on how important uh, quality affordable health care is. And now is the time of the year when you can sign up. Um, unless you've had a major life event, you wouldn't qualify for uh, insurance throughout the year. So it's important that they take advantage of the period of time that we have right now. Um, and to go on our website, uh, I believe that everyone's going to be pleasantly surprised with what is there, more plans, more ability, more financial aid, which is the key to making insurance affordable. So how can residents learn about their options and how can they enroll? So anyone that's interested, they, they should just come on to getcovered.nj.gov. They could use our shop and compare tool. Um, and again, we have it in English and in Spanish. And what they have to do is just put in their uh, zip code, their date of birth and their income, and then they'll get information of, of whether or not they qualify for any tax credit, any subsidies, the different plans that are available. Um, they'll be able to see all of that, um, doctors within the plans, medications within the plans. So that's all there for them to look at, to study, to make sure that they feel comfortable. Um, also, if they're not tech savvy like myself, 
Uh, we have our navigators that are available in the different languages. And if you um, go to the website and you uh, click under find local assistance, they will see a list of navigators, um, organizations that will help them for free. And of course, um, they can always reach out to our call center, which I'm very proud of the fact that it's New Jerseyans at the call center helping New Jerseyans. So that, that was always like a big thing for me. I want New Jersey to help New Jersey. And so anyone that has any questions uh, can reach out to our call center. And the number is uh, 1-833-677-1010. Well, thank you, Commissioner. And now we're gonna take questions from the audience. Just a reminder, if you have a question, please use the Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen. Quiz Chris Williams from my team is collecting them. So let's get started. Chris, what questions do you have for our commissioner? Thanks, Congresswoman. Our first question is from uh, one of our anonymous attendees. Uh, I believe, uh, Commissioner, you might've addressed this, but it's worth repeating. Uh, what is the income threshold in order to be eligible for credit off, the, off of the health insurance exchange? So what I would suggest is that the individual who's asking the question go on our website and they can enter their income, their zip code, their date of birth, and that will automatically let them know if they qualify for financial assistance, how much they would qualify for state subsidies, for federal tax credits as well. That'll give them the breakdown. Um, the example that I had used is that if an, an individual is earning 77,000 a year, they will more than likely qualify for financial assistance. If it's a family of four, roughly earning about 159, they'll also qualify. Great, thank you. Our next question comes from Brian. Uh, so Brian is a consultant and his wife is a teacher uh, and he's the only one that needs health insurance. So he's trying to understand um, how the income is calculated. Uh, does he include the whole family's income or just his? So when he goes online, when he goes to the website, they will ask him for the income. They'll ask him for his. I'll be honest with you. I don't want to give you wrong information. So we'll double back with you on that question because I don't want to tell you just his income um, when, when it might need to have the whole family's income. It would be the whole family. I'm pretty sure, but I just want to double back for you because I don't want to give your constituents the wrong information, but I'm pretty sure it's the whole family. Okay, great. So Brian, we uh, will work with the Adobe staff to get you an answer on that. We appreciate that, Commissioner. All right, our next question comes from Richard. Uh, unfortunately, he recently became unemployed. Uh, he's wondering what salary he would enter for Get Covered New Jersey now that he's unemployed, um, uh, given that he, uh, so his, if he lost his job at the end of the year, he would have made a certain income for the, for the year, but unfortunately he's unemployed now. So what I would suggest is that he reach out to our call center and they can walk him through what he needs, the information that he needs to be able to look at the different types of plans that are available. Um, because I am pretty sure that we will be able to help him. Of course, depending on his income, he may also qualify for, um, you know, for the, um, for New Jersey family care. So we can help them. Like I said before, we're like a one-stop shop. So if your income is so reduced, we will then walk you to New Jersey Family Care, which is our uh, Medicaid program. And so um, they can then help you. And we kind of handhold everyone there. And then if they qualify for one of our plans, uh, we will help them uh, with one of our plans as well. So I would suggest that he reach out to our call center um, and they could walk him through the information of what he needs to provide with regards to what income to report, if it was the previous income while he was employed or what he's um, collecting as unemployment. Great, thank you. Our next question comes from Patrick. Uh, he has uh, current coverage that ends the last day of February. So he's wondering if this impacts the uh, deadline for marketplace coverage for him. So the deadline for, for uh, to purchase coverage is January 31st. 
Um, what I would say is that he might want to look into buying coverage through us. There are uh, life-changing events. Um, if you lose your job or if you move out of town, things like that. Um, but I would also uh, recommend him to reach out to our um, call center, our customer service center to discuss that because I don't want to find, I would, I would be very unhappy if he found himself at the end of February coming into March without any insurance uh, when there is a lot out there and it's available. And coverage from January, by January 31st, you're covered on February 1st. Okay, great. Uh, our next question is from, uh, uh, it comes in anonymously. Uh, they're wondering if, uh, does a 401k or an IRA funds, does that impact your income levels if you're not drawing down on the funds? So the, the question on the, on the uh, program on the website is gonna be your income. Um, and that has to, you know, they, they don't ask about your 401k. On the, while we're covering that, on the flip side, if uh, someone is with, uh, drawing down on their on either of those, uh, would that impact their income levels? Well, if that is their income and they're living off of that, that they, the question has to do with your income. What are your what is your income? So when you're filling out that form, that's you know, if you're living off of that, that that's I would I would assume I don't want to give you the wrong answer, and I could circle back with you on that one definitely. Okay, if anyone needs further clarification on that, feel free to reach out to our office and we're happy to help. Our next question comes from Sumit. Uh, his father recently had his immigration approved, so he'll be coming to New Jersey in the month of March. Uh, however, obviously open enrollment ends at the end of the month. Uh, will he have an option to enroll uh, once he arrives and receives a social security number? So he would probably qualify under the special enrollment period, which is when you have a life-changing event. And I would say that coming to the United States is, uh, is a, a move and it's a life-changing event and congratulations to your constituent's father. Thank you. Uh, our next question is from another anonymous attendee. They're wondering, um, if they lose their job and they have the option for COBRA, do they also have the option for Get Covered New Jersey or NJ Family Care? So losing your job also falls under the special enrollment period. That's a life-changing event. Um, so before they agree to, um, to take COBRA, I would strongly suggest that they look at their options options as to what the cost would be for a plan on our exchange through the marketplace and also whether or not they qualify for, for New Jersey family care. Um, and that's something that we would probably be able to help them with. Um, but they, I would strongly suggest that they shop and compare. Uh, COBRA tends to be a little bit more expensive, so they, they should look at that. But again, they would qualify because it is a, a life-changing event. Okay, great. Uh, our next question is also anonymous there. Uh, I believe you might've mentioned this, but worth repeating, how, what's the best way for someone to contact one of the local navigators? So um, if they have access to a computer, they can go to our website um, and on our, at the top, there's a bar that says find um, local assistance. And if you click on that bar, then it'll open up to the different counties and it'll, it'll give you an idea of you know, an organization that can, they can talk to. Um, or if they don't have access to a computer, um, they could call our call center and they can get help there. Great, thank you. Uh, the next question, if uh, this person was uh, referred to NJ Family Care last year and the year before, uh, they're wondering if they need to reapply or anything, or if, um, or can they take another look at Get Covered at New Jersey at this time? They can always take a look at our website and shop and compare uh, what plans are good for them. Um, they, you know, if they're in the New Jersey Family Care program right now, that might be a little more beneficial for them. But we always welcome you to come onto our website and to shop and look at your options. So that is a, that's a possibility for them. Okay, great.
All right, uh, our next question comes from Corinne. Uh, my husband is retired and has Medicare. He does not have in, any income any longer. Uh, she's under 65 and paying for private insurance. Uh, she, is, she contacted Get Cover New Jersey about a month ago and was told about uh, Medicaid, also known as NJ Family Care, uh, but hasn't heard from anybody yet. Uh, how could she follow up um, uh, regarding uh, that issue? So um, Corinne, you said? Corinne, correct. So if she reached out to our call center, um, she's, I would suggest calling back to the call center if she spoke with someone and if she has their name, um, because if they took any information from them, they'll be able to retrieve it and help her. Um, and then we could walk her through the process and find out what's going on with her application at NJ Family Care. Okay, and if uh, someone was referred for NJ Family Care, but uh, would prefer a plan through Get Covered New Jersey, is that an option for them? Well, um, when, when you go on to the exchange and you put in your information, specifically your income, if, if your income is low, we then suggest Family Care, because it, it, it's, you know, technically um, could be free <laughs> compared to some of our plans. As low as our plans are, family care could be free. Um, but that is something that they can look at. And of course, if they prefer to be in one of the plans, they can just reach out to, to our, um, our exchange and we'll, we'll work with them. Okay, great. Our next question is from uh, Maureen. She has COBRA coverage uh, that's available through the end of March. Uh, would she be able to enroll and get covered in New Jersey at that point? Or uh, she should, should she really uh, look into this uh, now? So um, I would say that she should reach out to our uh, call center um, and they could walk her through the process because it's very likely that when her COBRA ends, um, it may fall under a special enrollment uh, period where it's a life-changing event. Um, and so that way she could have all that information ahead of time. Okay, our next question comes from Terry. If you have Medicare, can you get coverage for what's not covered under Medicare? I believe he's wondering if, um, if Get Covered New Jersey offers um, Medicare supplementals, I believe. No, we it. don't. No, we don't. We, we offer um, insurance plans on the exchange, not Medicaid or Medicare. Okay, great. Thank you for clarifying. Our next question is, uh, if you voluntarily leave a job after open enrollment ends, uh, does that count as a major life event uh, and allow you to purchase a plan? So, so I would definitely reach out to our call center. Um, um, a life-changing event is loss of a job, a move, um, if you get if you're a woman and you get pregnant, so those are all things that would help qualify you for uh, coverage on the exchange. Okay, great. Our next question comes from Carol. If your income is reduced later this year, uh, do they adjust uh, your uh, your premiums at that point? That's a really good question of which I don't have the answer for Carol. So I will be really happy to get to circle back with you and the Congresswoman to provide Carol the answer. Um, they, I would think that she's going to have to update the information to show the reduction in her income, but I'll get you more information of which you can share with her so that she has the correct information. That'd be great. Uh, so Carol will be in touch with you on that. Uh, a few folks have asked, uh, as far as the income levels, uh, is it the adjusted gross income on your tax return or is it the actual income? The actual income. Okay. Okay, Stanley was looking for clarification on how the deductibles work. Uh, if we get a health insurance plan at say, for example, 900 a month for a family of three and there's a family deductible of say 12,000, 
does the actual health insurance uh, not go into effect until they pay the 12,000 out of pocket? So the, um, if they qualify for any kind of tax credits or um, subsidies, that it automatically reduces their premium. So what will happen is that when they go to pay the plan, they'll be paying the reduced amount. It's not a matter of paying down the deductions. It's, it's a, you know, when you go online and you find the plans that you want, um, at the top of the bar, it'll show you how much the plan is minus any tax credit that you're gonna get, minus any state subsidies. And then the bottom is the amount that you owe that insurance company. And that's what your premium is for the plan. Great, thank you for clarifying. Our next question is from a, an anonymous attendee. How are pre-existing conditions handled? Are, are those covered under the plans offered under Get Covered New Jersey? All our plans um, cover pre-existing. That is the whole reason for having the Affordable Care Act so that nobody is left out and no one is taken advantage of for having a pre-existing condition. Great. I'm just so, uh, I'm just so happy. I, I love that question. Thank you for asking that as something that um, you know, for years has been such a concern. And I always tell the story about a friend of mine in the Navy who um, I was getting out and I, and he was really excited about, you know, I was going back to law school and he said, I'd love to do that. And I said, oh, are you going to get out and do that? And he said, I can't. I, you know, one of my children has a severe medical condition. I can't change jobs. And, and that was true for so many people. So that was just exciting to hear, even though I know it was true. I just <laughs> loved hearing it. Thank you, Commissioner. <laughs> That was a great question. And a lot of folks don't, uh, you know, they're confused based on the old rhetoric from the previous administration. They think that they wouldn't qualify it. And that was the whole purpose of the Affordable Care Act. Yeah, so our, our next question is from James. Uh, can you confirm if it's the case that uh, if you qualify for NJ Family Care, uh, you will not get any tax credits if you elect to pursue a marketplace plan? So if the family qualifies for the NJ Family Care Medicaid, um, they wouldn't be on the exchange. So there wouldn't be any tax credits because they're, they're in, in the, in the fam in family care. So that is separate and apart. Okay, thank you. Um, our next question, they're wondering if uh, our dental and vision plans included on uh, Get Covered New Jersey. Yes. Um, you know what? That's, I, I can definitely tell you dental, but I would be lying if I said yes to vision. So let me circle back with you on that one. I know dental plans they'll be able to find on our exchange. I just want to confirm the vision for you. Okay, so that question came to from- To be honest with you, Chris, if you don't mind, I, I have, um, my chief of staff is watching and he's texting me to make sure that I don't give folks the wrong answer. So no, vision is not included, but dental definitely is. Okay, thank you for confirming. All right, uh, let's see here. Uh, we have a couple of people just asking if you could repeat the phone number for the call center. Absolutely. Um, so the, the number for our uh, customer service is 1-833-677-1010. And Chris, can we get that up on our website for people? Absolutely. In, in fact, um, for everyone that registered, we can send you an email uh, as a follow-up with a lot of this information and we can post it on our, our website and social media channels. So we're happy to do that. Okay, we have time for one more question here. It's from Melissa. Uh, she is a veteran who is 100% disabled and retired. Uh, she's wondering if she can still apply for Get Cover New Jersey and get financial assistance uh, for another health plan for her daughter, even though she has the option through uh, the VA and uh, TRICARE. That, Chris, that's a really good question uh, of which I don't want to give your constituent the wrong answer. So if you don't mind, I will circle back with you. I just want to make sure that she can go on the exchange for her daughter, even though 
there is the uh, opportunity to get insurance through the veterans. Because I know if you have it through Medicaid, through NJ Family, you have, you know, it stays in the NJ Family. It doesn't go to the exchange. So let me circle back with you on that one. That was for Carol, I believe. Uh, Melissa. Melissa, I'm sorry. So Melissa will be in touch with you from there. And uh, before I kick it back over to Congresswoman Cheryl, um, I just uh, want to emphasize if we did not get to your question, we're happy to follow up with you. Um, some of you guys uh, asked them anonymously. So if you did do that, unfortunately, I don't know your name. So please give us a call uh, so we can follow up with you and get you an answer. Um, for other folks, uh, you might have included a lot of uh, personal detail in your question. So uh, if that was the case, we're going to follow up with you separately, but uh, we will get you an answer from the department. Uh, and with that, I will kick it back over to Congresswoman Cheryl. Well, Commissioner, thank you so much. Um, a lot of great questions. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks to your chief of staff. That's great staff work. So um, we'll get back to everyone, as Chris said. I really appreciate everyone joining us this evening. I hope this information was helpful. You'll see on your screen a list of deadlines and resources, and we will leave this up for a few more minutes. Remember, the deadline to enroll is January 31st. Believe it or not, that is my parents' wedding anniversary. I don't know many people who get married in the, the middle of winter like that, but um, that's how I'll remember it. But for all of you, January 31st is the deadline. If you need any assistance, please reach out to my district office. The number is 973-526-5663. Nine seven three five two six five six six eight. Chris will be sharing the slides from tonight's presentation via email and a recording of tonight's event will be shared on my social media pages in the coming days. So thank you again, Commissioner. Uh, thanks to you, thanks to your team for joining us. Take care and stay safe, everyone. Thank you, Congresswoman, same. Thank you again, great presentation. Take care.